The Ili, or subdivision, of Ka'ako Kukui is a community of our Kaka'ako that is grounded in Native Hawaiian cultural values like malama aina, or care for the land, ethnic diversity, and entrepreneurship. This aina, or land, was once home to salt flats and fish ponds. It was a key source of pa'akai, or salt, a seasoning, preservative, purifier, and means of traditional island economy. Join us on this journey as we explore how pa'akai is used with other ingredients from our group of islands in innovative ways by chefs in our kaka'ako to bring out the best in food, our community, and life. What's up, gang? Chef Gooch here. Today's episode, we're going to go visit my buddy, Chef Neil Murphy, over here at Moku Kitchen. See what he does with some Sumida watercress. Let's go. Thanks for the kind. Yeah, thanks for having us. No, I've waited, I've waited my whole life. You know, I drove past this farm every day. So tell me, you know, all I know is that it's Sumida watercress. Well, where are we? We're in the middle of Aiea in what used to be all farmland, but now is um, an urban, you know, center yeah. and everything. Concrete jungle. Yeah, yeah concrete <laughs> jungle. And we used to have, you know, all rolling fields of, of ag land, but now it's, you know, a mall built around this farm. And this is the Kalau Springs that feed the land and um, make our watercress, we think, the best in the world. And then what school you at? I went to, uh, I actually grew up in the mainland. Really? Yeah, so I'm the only one of my cousins who grew up in the mainland, and I uh, went to school in Seattle, but, um, you know, for me, when I had kids, and my husband and I were thinking about the future of the farm, we didn't want to see it go away with our generation. Yeah, so you, you, you yeah. took it. Yeah. <laughs> Do most Hawaii restaurants use your watercress? A lot of restaurants use our watercress, but it's just labeled local watercress. But at this point, we're the largest watercress producer in the islands. We do about 90% of the watercress in the islands. So what we're trying to do is really make sure that, you know, restaurants are calling it out, you know, saying Sumida Farm watercress. Right, 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 right. Because it's very different, you know, having um, watercress grown in these fresh Kalao Springs is so unique and different. So we really want to, you know, make sure that that's out there. Some of our favorite restaurants like Moku Kitchen has a great um, watercress dumpling. They use our watercress in some really nice ways that we think you know highlights the crop but also kind of what we're trying to do is, is, is being a part of local and supporting local. Uh, how you doing? My name is Neil. Uh, Neil Murphy. I work for uh, Peter Merriman. This is Moku Kitchen over in Kakako in, um, in a place called Salta. So today we're going to talk about salt which is kind of cool. Yeah, I bet you a lot of people who live here don't know how to say salt in Hawaii. Yeah. And, you know, I'm Boy Haole, I'm from New York, but I can say salt in Hawaii, right? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, pa'akai. You know, and salt, salt is a bunch of things. You know? Salt, your body needs salt, so it, it actually craves it. I lived on Big Island when I first moved over to, to, to Hawaii. And there's a place called Paniao on a big island. And my, my friend's family used to own that property. Anytime you had, um, if you had like this bad feelings or anything, uh, he, would, he, he would just say, go and sit in the water. You know, and, and, and it's that salt that's gonna, it's gonna just take that bad feeling from you. Paniao was a healing place, and it was because of the salt water. But here we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna do a, a, a dish. It's a it's a pork pot sticker. Do you How many pot stickers do you guys do you go through in a, in a on an average a day? We probably make five hundred a day. <laughs> five per order? Uh, just five pieces five, per five, order. Five, yeah, hundred orders a day. Yeah. So, I noticed we've got. Is, are these Bob Stanga's mushrooms? Is this Hamakua? That's from Hamakua. Yeah. 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 Pono Park. Cool. The other thing too about, if we're going to talk about salt, is when I cook, or, or anybody who's really good at cooking, you salt, in, you salt in layers, man. So you start with a little bit of salt. So if I'm making a soup, I'll start with a little bit of salt when I sweat my onions and, 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 and garlic, mm -hmm. and it starts to break everything down. It really starts to remove the sugar and stuff. And then you add your liquid, and then you'll season it again, and then you'll season it again when the soup is done, if you're pureeing it. or um, So that you, you, you got to season all the, all the way through. You know, so I, I think when we open Moku and, and this and this um, um, this area here, you know, was called salt it, because salt is, is such a big part of what we do. It was really a, a great to be associated with with the name of, of, of uh, salt. That's cool. I'm glad yeah. you like that. 
So here we got we're, we got our we got our dumplings. It's a nice shot. It's like a sailboat in a sea of salt, right? Another thing about salt is where does it come from? It ocean. comes from the ocean, right? And that ocean could have been around a million years ago. And what's what's the ocean made out of? Ocean is water, right? And and um, all life comes from water. So you know you're 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 looking at it. You're looking at a cycle here of of of. of where the salt came from, coming back into our bodies to give us nourishment and to give us life, right? And the Hawaiians, they figured that out, you know, just for survival reasons, yeah. right? They didn't this need is Google. The big, this is the big, this is the big deal. Yeah. You know? I've also found over time that, like, um, you know, Pakai, when you get Pakai from whether it's from like Hanapepe or Molokai mm -hmm. or, or Kwana, um, to me, our Pakai is like our tewa, it's like wine, it's like our tewa, right? Every bay, mineral content is different, the mm -hmm. way that it's processed is different. So once you get to start to have this relationship with Pakai, I think it deepens the relationship of where we're from too. So what are you doing with the mushrooms? You know what? I'm just going to garnish this dish with these. I'm going to I'm going to actually deep fry them. Nice. And then I'm going to and, and, and you're going to taste the mushrooms. But when I add the salt to it, you're really going to taste the mushrooms. So you're going to taste the, the, the deep earthiness of the mushrooms. The really wild meat from the mushrooms that, that salt will bring out. Take some of this sauce. We've got some beautiful chili oil, chili, garlic, and ginger. And then we'll just use just some little pieces of uh, Sumida watercress. When you look at this dish, it's pretty simple. Right. It's a dumpling, some sauce, a garnish, and, and that's it. You know, it's the simplicity and, and the ability to taste all the ingredients inside that, in that dish. That, uh, that really matters. You can taste every ingredient. Mm -hmm. Ginger, garlic, pork, mm -hmm. cabbage is tender. Heat comes from the sauce. That's a habanero pineapple. And then there's a little bit of a, you know, the, the chili garlic paste that everybody uses. So we make that here with the ginger fried garlic. When, every now and then I'll go and um, I'll go to Kauai High and go get salt, go a little bit, a little bag of salt. You know? It's really cool, man. I'm glad you keep going back. That's important. I was there, I was there last week. You know, um, and it's really, that salt really is really interesting because it has all the bits of seaweed and even the pieces of lava rock that right. are in there. And but it's it's so um, ground so fine that you, you're not crunching you know, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so it's really pretty pretty amazing. So, right. thanks, brother. Thank you, chef. Always a pleasure. Appreciate it.